Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi has declared his interest in running for the 2023 presidential election. In a similar fashion, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo has declared his presidential aspirations after months of speculation. This is Plus Politics, and I'm Kofi Bartels. You're welcome. Over the weekend, Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi declared his interest in running for the 2023 presidential presidency. Uh, Mechi, who had denied being interested in the race, declared his interest at the Adokia Amir Semaka Stadium in Port Hackett venue of the River State All Progressives Congress Thanksgiving service on Saturday. I mean, she has been in government since 1999, is serving two terms as Speaker of the River State House of Assembly from 1999 to 2007, and two terms as Governor of River State from 2007 to 2015. He is one of the few ministers President Buhari reappointed in his second term in 2019. He is the first member of President Buhari's cabinet to throw his heart into the ring or his hat into the ring and others interested in the 2023 race are yet to make their intentions known. Uh, well, joining us to analyze and discuss this interesting development, we have Dr. Samuel Wano Sike. He is executive chairman of Equator Local Government Area and a member of the People's Democratic Party in River State. Good evening to you, Samuel Wano Sike. Good evening. Thank you for this opportunity of being part of the show. Well, and as you can see, he's not alone. We have uh, a convener of the Unity House Foundation and member of the All Progressives, chieftain of the All Progressives Congress in River State, um, Mr. Wenanda, Chief Wenanda Wali. Good evening to you, sir. Did I just hear Chief? <laughs> My name is Wenanda Wali. All right, I, I see them calling you Chief on, <laughs> online. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. All good, yes, it? gentlemen, nice to have, have both of you uh, on the program together. Um, first of all, you, your thoughts, uh, Wendawali, on um, the declaration of Rotimi Amechi um, after months of speculation at that Thanksgiving service on Saturday? Um, to a large extent, I think what has just happened is um, somebody freely expressing his democratic rights as a citizen of this country, and that is the right to vote and the right to be voted for. So it is nothing really extraordinary apart from the fact that the position which um, he intends to buy for is a very important position in the country or any country whatsoever. And it's a position that, um, that people take seriously and uh, I think, uh, uh, in my own judgment, is eminently qualified to hold that office. But again, it's his decision and that decision is what he has taken to say I want Nigerians to give me the opportunity and the benefit of the doubts, and I was going to, or rather, I'm going to do my bit and contribute my quota. That's all that he has done. Interesting. Uh, Dr. Samuel Wanosike, you're a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party um, in, in River State. Uh, but but apart from <laughs> apart from being a, a, a chieftain of the PDP in River State, uh, Dr. Wanosike, you have previously worked uh, with uh, Rotimi Amechi. What are your thoughts of, of him and um, his presidential aspirations as declared on Saturday. Dr. Wanderseke. Well, first of all, yeah, first of all, like uh, my brother has said here clearly, it's a constitutional right. Um, it's a right that everybody in Nigeria has to express. If you feel you're fit and you're prepared to run for office, there's no big deal making the intention known to people because at the end of the day, it's all about service delivery. So this is right, and um, there's no big deal about him coming to the ring. Like in fact, like I tell people, um, we are proud that um, reverse people are daring where men don't want to dare. It shows clearly that our state is moving forward in the right direction. 
All right. Uh, we're also aware, aware that um, uh, your principal, the governor of Cross of River State, uh, um, uh, Chief Yenson Wike, has also declared his intention um, to to be the next president of Nigeria on the platform of the PDP. Um, I mean, how do you see this panning out as far as two River Sons uh, are concerned? Um, if both of them uh, get the the ticket of their respective parties, um, who do you think is most uh, eminently qualified? I know you answer already, but I just want to hear you say it. Uh, problem. Um, yeah. Thank, thank you for knowing my answer. And my answer is what you know that will not change because it will be a a, a competition of no competitors. Um, men uh, men who have uh, uh, been at this uh, uh, activity at several stages and have uh, results have been decided out of those activities. We've had elections um, in our seats, and so also Nigerians can judge us with our activities at various levels. Coincidentally, they have been, they've been both been former governors. Coincidentally also, they've all both served as ministers, and as one can just say clearly, it's for the people of Nigeria to see who have done what each other have done in service delivery. So as far as we are concerned, it's going to be an interesting game. And I can tell you, Governor Zebo is going to be much victorious at the end of the day. All right. Uh, 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 when and Awali, <laughs> your, your thoughts on, on the emergence, uh, not just of uh, 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 former Governor Mechi, but also oh, the um, oh. announcement by Governor Yeso Mike that he would like to be president of Nigeria as well. Um, do you see, how do you see this playing out for both men um, if they both get the tickets of their respective parties at the end of the day? I want to associate myself with the earlier comments, the earlier comments of um, my brother, um, I would rather not get official with him, uh, Bambi, uh, when he said that um, it's a classic statement of the, the level that River State uh, politics has attained that two sons of River State are uh, to a large extent uh, determining the terms of uh, political endowment in their political parties. So it's something that every reverse man should be proud of. As to comparing the two contestants, I won't venture into that and I'll tell you why. We are at the level of party um, nominations and it will be a little bit uh, too hasty for me to start judging what will happen at the end of the day in the general election. What we are concerned with is to support our, our leader, uh, the right honorable Chibi Kilotimi Amichi, to be able to secure the party ticket. When that's in the bag, then we can go to Nigerians. So there's really no need counting our eggs well before uh, uh, the, our chicken, before the, head, the egg is hatched. So being optimistic, being optimistic uh, is, is one thing, but being realistic is the other thing. So for now, we are focused on marketing Rotimi Amechi amongst APC members. We don't want to beat the gun. But I would love the day that these two prominent Iquiri sons, River sons, which we uh, uh, will see how it goes. Nigerians, like you rightly mentioned, uh, these are not millions in Nigerian politics. There's no Nigerian who is a politician who will say he doesn't know right to the right honorable uh, GBK Amechi, or he doesn't know um, uh, the executive governor of River State, uh, Nelson Wike. Um, they are they are political actors, and they, they are not underdogs by any measure. So Nigerians know enough about two of them to be able to make, um, um, uh, if you like, call it a classical and um, important uh, statements, take decisions as to which of them best serves the Nigerian state now. We're talking about service provision. I can say anything I want to say about Chimiki Rotimi and Mechi because my friend, my brother is my party leader. But Nigerians might have a different view altogether, knowing what they know about him. So for now, we are focused on the party primaries. When we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. All right. Uh, before I go to, uh, back to Dr. Wanzaki, when in the while, uh, uh, Chimiki and Mechi, while uh, announcing in his intention to, or declaring his intention to be uh, uh, in the presidential race, to join the race, uh, mm -hmm. outlined his, his political history and his history of service to, to not just River State, but Nigeria. Um, we have other members of the All Progressives Congress who have come out to announce their intention. 
Bola Metimbu is there. You have um, his political protege, who he has said isn't his son. <laughs> Today we saw that online. Um, uh, Vice Pres President Yemi Oshibajo um, declaring his intention in the morning. What stands Amechi out that should persuade the members of the party, the delegates of the party, to pick him above the others? I'm going to say this, and uh, quite, I'm going to be very frank and honest about it. Um, the essence of being in a political party is to be able to influence policies. And the only way you can influence poli policies is when you assess power. So at the end of the day, if you're going to elections, you must be able to present somebody who will be able to signpost the aspirations of the political party. You're talking about service provision. You're talking about experience. You're talking about name recognition. It doesn't make sense at this stage to get people who people barely know. And we have gone through a circle in Nigeria and people are clamoring. That, that's why I'm happy that the two of my brothers who are interested in being uh, president in this country have youth on their side, they have energy on their side, they have experience and exposure on their side. But with regards to Rotimi Amechi, for somebody who has been in politics since 1990, he became Speaker of the University of Assembly for two, te two terms, became governor, two terms governor, became minister, well, you can say for internal purposes, uh, two term minister. What else do you need for somebody to be prepared to, to, to serve as president of this country? I can't begin to think of any other thing because there's nothing about him Nigerians don't know. And practically speaking, there's nothing about Nigeria that he doesn't know. So it's all about having the political will, and that's one thing that I know that he has in, in essence. Hmm. And not, not even his uh, enemies who say Lutimi lacks energy. Nobody says that. So I think at this point in time, what Nigeria is looking for is somebody who is young, somebody who is vibrant, somebody who has experience, somebody who has the drive, the passion, and the intention, and the goodwill too. And I think Lutimi um, capsulates all of this. All right, all right. And that's why we think that it's best it's best suited to be the best. It does not mean that the other candidates are not qualified. Don't forget that. When in the Wally, are you there, please? Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, whilst we're trying to reconnect with Wendawali, we, it's, uh, it's time to bring back Samuel Wanosike. Uh, 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 Mr. Wa Dr. Wanosike, you've heard what your, your, your brother, When in the Wally, has been saying. Um, all this while. Do you agree that the credentials of um, and the achievements, the record of service uh, of uh, Rotimi Amechi as governor of River State, as speaker of the River State House of Assembly, and now as minister of transportation, stand him in good stead to be president of Nigeria? Dr. Wanosuke. Uh, rivers people know better. In fact, you, 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 live, you used to live in Portacot, so you know better. You've seen the port administration why you were in Potaco before you came over to Lagos. You know better. So um, for us, as the boy of is the pride of the rivers man, he has broken all records known to governance in river states. Even the leaders of these states in the past have come publicly to say, we worked as governors, but this, our son, who is governing rivers today, has brought a classic touch to governance and gov governmental achievements. As um, so the was the minister for state education, his policies and programs are yet to be beaten. His records are yet to be beaten in the Ministry of Education till as we speak. Even as substantive minister, Nigerians know the achievements of Boye Sumiki. The popular Amadjuri school, the popular girls. Uh, gas uh, out, out, out of gas education, out of uh, gas out of school education, that uh, his ministry impact on why he was uh, minister for education, the revamping of the unity schools and modernizing the e library situation in the unity schools all over the country it was a classic of as a way some weekend and as a way some weekend attracting wonderful project tangible projects to. Educational system in River State is something that rivers people applaud always. The way so we attracted the law school 
the the uh, uh, legal education university of Portacot. That's why Sowike has done so much as the governor of River State today that even the vice president, who is from All Progressive Congress, have nicknamed him Mr. Quality Project. Not once, not twice. Even in his first and his second term, he reaffirmed it when he came to commission the special police units in uh, Omoga community close to the international airport of Mama. And when you see a man that is loved by his colleagues, governors, and a man that is a, a star player in his party, you would know the way so Wiki is a candidate to beat in the forthcoming primaries of the People's Democratic Party. And by the grace of God Almighty, Nigerian people, knowing the pain and the agony they face today, knowing that virtually even in the declaration statement of Hugo Rodriguez, Mika Amechi, and President, Vice President Toshibajo, and those all progressive Congress leaders who have declared to be president, Yahya uh, Bello, uh, you will hear them agreeing clearly that their government has failed, that they are aware that Nigeria yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah, but someone wants to say, you've, 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 you've reeled out. Yeah, correct, yeah. To yes. correct the wrong their principal is doing. You know, that is admission, that is self-admitting that our administration that we are part of has failed and that it is time to pack our bags and leave because Nigerians are ready for the People's Democratic Party. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 Wanda Wali, do you agree? Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on what uh, someone has said? You know, that uh, um, the, the Minister of Transportation, uh, along with his other colleagues, in, in his um, uh, declaration speech, uh, you know, admitted that uh, the APC led federal government uh, uh, under President Buhari has failed and that that's what they're coming to to correct do you do you agree with that that point of view i i don't know where he got the information from uh, maybe some other person has said that some other uh, aspirant had said that but i'm not aware that there was any statement where the right honorable chibikuruti miyamichi alluded to a failure of any sort all he was talking about there was that there is room for improvement. He has admitted to the fact that, yes, things are difficult in this country. And he said quickly, it didn't start today. And we're not going to fix them tomorrow morning. But one thing is certain, that we we'll have the energy, we we'll have the verb, we we'll have the desire to be able to change things and tell our story differently. And that's what anybody who is part of a team is expected to do. What is a team player? And he cannot, not, not in, under any kind of condition, say that a man he has served that was supported him in every way possible, that has made his ministry the one that they talk about the town, and he said the tax system failed, and what he said he failed. You know, that, that is not the same program we watched. It's not the same program Nigerians watched. But I understand the politics of spinning. I understand the politics of trying to, uh, try to whine, like they say, in the street parlance. But the point here is that we are not interested. We, when I say we, I'm talking about the uh, Rotimi Amici political family. We are not interested in what our opponents in the PDP would say for now. Let them be patient, hold their fire. The time will come when we will tell Nigerians who Rotimi is and whomsoever PDP is going to throw up against it. We are only praying to God that by the special grace that becomes the uh, flag bearer of the APC. When that time comes, Nigerians will ask Mr. A and Mr. B, what have you got to offer? Nigerians will have the benefit of going to um, check our pedigree. Nigerians will come and check our records. It's not about spinning. It's not about um, screaming. No, we'll get to the point where we, Nigerians are no fools. I get up, there's a lot of optics in politics, but the facts will speak for themselves. When that time comes, we are telling APC people that if you want your best foot forward, Ruti B is that person. And we have the reasons why. He's telling. Uh, uh, Dr. Wadosuke, uh, you've heard from uh, your, your counterpart. But um, I mean, uh, what, what's your assessment of, of, of uh, the minister's performance as uh, in, uh, in charge of the transportation ministry? I mean, uh, we've seen the trains crisscrossing the country, revival of the rail sector. You know, despite the challenges in terms of insecurity. So I'd like you to talk about, you know, the transformation of the rail sector in Nigeria under Rotimi Amechias as you uh, perceive. Yeah, first of all, before I do that, I want to um, 
remind my brother that Nigerians are listening to him. And Nigerians watched on live tennis television the speech read by Ruth Mitchell himself. And that speech is online. And I want you to do this program in favor of running a clip of that speech by side by side with the speech I'm making so that Nigerians can know who is deceiving them. I did not write Ruth Mitchell speech. I didn't read it. He wrote his speech. He read the speech. His wife held the copy of the speech page by page as he was reading them. Nigerians heard him say clearly that he's aware that we are in trouble times. He's aware of this security in Nigeria. He accepted, he himself accepted that the economy of Nigeria is in bad shape. Read his speech. So what, what is my number coming to tell us? We didn't write the speech. Pres uh, Vice President uh, uh, Osibajo, in his own declaration this morning, agreed that, yes, but that he is saying that President Muhammad Bari also have laid a foundation he wants to continue. That of Vice President Siva his speech was, I will continue from. I know that there are crises. I know that we are in what situation if a sitting Vice President have said clearly that we are in a war situation. And let's just oppose it with the promises that was made in 2014 that brought the up progressive Congress to power. It's like my brothers are forgetting that okay. promises were made to Nigeria. Okay, uh, wait, 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 are you there, please? Yeah, I'm back. Sorry, sorry for the... And, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, Samuel, let's allow uh, King Siwali to, to, to respond to what you've said before we come back to you. Uh, um, when Siwali, please go on. So let me finish my thought. Let me say, I was, I was giving a thought. I was giving a thought. And I was just okay, okay. In, in, one, in one I sentence, so that, so that he, he can, because I want us to move to another question I have here. That's why. No, let, let me finish my thought. And you asked me a question I've not answered. So you can't just bridge me out. Now, no, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that. Obvious. I'll come back to that. Uh, Samuel oh, Wanosuke, okay. oh, I'll come back to that. Okay, Definitely. It's obvious. it's obvious that promises were made to Nigerians that they will fight in security and that six months in office, that this security will be a thing of the past because they are bringing. A general who fought Maitasini when he was the okay. uh, head of state. Yes, so so I, I just don't want us to lose the very important so point you all made. The promises of yeah, you, you, said, you said King Siwale should all go, Wale Shiwale should go and check out the video. Era, so let, let's, let's, let's allow him allow him respond to that. I'll come back to you. Uh, uh, Wale Wale, he says that, you know, you're not being truthful to Nigerians. I hope you heard all he said. Maybe you should check the video out. His wife was holding a copy of the, the speech and that he did admit that this administration under Buhari has failed. What do you say to that? I'm, I'm, not, ready to, I'm not ready to get into he said, I said, he said, I said. I just listened to Chibike Rotimi Amici. And he said that this were troubled times, that these times were difficult. And it was a global phenomenon. He said that much. And who does not know that economic recession, the worldwide, who does not know that the Ukraine-Russia crisis is affecting the economy of the world? Who does not know that insecurity in Nigeria? Who does not know that? Who does not know the fact that insecurity in, um, in that part of the country has been on there? Who does not know that Heather's farmer's strike has been something historical? All he's saying is that, yes, these things are there. We are doing our bit to fix them. But one thing is certain, with hope, we'll be able to fix them. He's so, not giving so up are you, are you agreeing with said, Samuel Wanosiki that, indeed, the minister admitted that the Buhari administration had failed? But that he, it's because of the global situation. I, I, are you agree with him? Yes, I agree now. You don't need to. No, some, somewhere, please. So, somewhere, please. Uh, Mr. Wally, are you there, sir? Okay, we, we, we seem to have lost uh, uh, Wally and Wally. I apologize for that. Um, uh, we'll, we'll try and get back to him. But, but uh, Samuel, want to say, let, let's, go, let's go on to the performance of the minister under the transportation uh, ministry and uh, some of the achievements like I talked about, the uh, transformation of the rail sector, you can see that that sector was dead and now it's, uh, it's, it's come alive, despite the challenges which are not caused by, uh, by the minister or the ministry. These are security challenges outside his control. So what are your thoughts on, on the, the performance of uh, Rotimi Amici as uh, transportation minister? Brother. Uh, uh, Kofi Batez. You don't. You're talking to Nigerians. How can you say that the uh, railway railway sector was dead when Kuluk and Jonathan concluded Kaduna, uh, uh, Abuja, and Amechi during the commissioning agreed with Mr. 
president a few months after they came on board that yes, this project they are commissioning today was started and finished by Bullock, even the Jonathan's administration, that they merely came and commissioned it. He said so. Go to Congo, you see his speech. So why would you say that? If you say that Road Mystic and Mission Ministry of Transportation has borrowed so much that has endangered our future as Nigerians from Chinese government in a Mandarin language that would not know the terms and conditions of those loans and how they can be paid back. Even when the National Assembly came to question him in the House Committee of Foreign Loans, he told them, I am not going to answer you any question until the Chinese government released the loan to do water cost medically lane. After I received that loan, I will not come and answer your question. I will ask myself, what, has been, what kind of leader is this? A leader that will want to play without the rules. A leader that will want to or a leader that wants not to But, 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 but Samuel, will, will, will it be fair? Will it be fair? Yes, Samuel, will it be fair? Samuel, 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 will it be fair to say that to accuse a minister of, um, of uh, um, you know, any kind of impropriety as far as the award of contracts for the construction of rail network in Nigeria is concerned because he does not approve these things. It goes through a process, a procurement process, and of course you have the Federal Executive oh, Council that, that does COVID approve. Test, COVID test. You know, I whether it's in Mandarin or, or not. Nigerians, hold on, hold on, hold on, COVID test. Nigerians are watching this event. We don't televise them. They televise them. The All Progressive Congress is in charge of the National Assembly. Those who are calling for the probe are members of National Assembly. I am not a member of National Assembly. I am a local government chairman for crying out loud. But I watch on television and I see the House Committee drill the Honorable Minister. We have on record things that have, that have trended, tweets that have trended, videos that have trended by the ministers making that speech. So what are you telling us? Are you telling us that we, we will forget so easily the statement made by the minister? But, 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 but the, the, president, the president the president has not has not had any complaint. I mean, all the the contracts so are I, approved I by saying, the federal executive I am council. That the minister said so himself, Kofi Patel. And maybe you have forgotten. Go back to Google. We have it in the cloud. The world is watching. So going back to the question you've asked me, as far as I'm concerned, we in River State do not see any achievement from the Rotary Military Cabinet's administration as minister for two tenors. Even, 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 even with, with the... Hold with on, the, hold on, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Somewhere, am, somewhere, even, somewhere, question, even, even with, the, with, the, with, the flag, with the construction of the Port Harcourt Meduguri rail line, which is ongoing as we that's speak. Coming, the minister, coming, minister was there over the weekend, that. and they're trying to speed things up. You know, you have... Okay, you know, hold so, on, hold yeah. on now, hold on. It's not a shame, it's not an embarrassment to the people of River State that after you have come to declare your intention to be president, the next day is when you have come to say you're flagging up the, the model of the railway. How no, but, but they, 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 had already, they had already, they oh, had no, already oh, started. No. You want to Some speed of... up things. Every Nigerian, COVID test, allow me to communicate to Nigeria. Every <laughs> Nigerian is aware that I have entered election move. Every Nigerian is aware that Roti Bichibu Kamechi would not even have a time to look at one file. Every Nigerian is aware that Roti Bichibu Kamechi has been consulting because since they have declared his intention to be president, that the fight he has in all progressive Congress facing a man like Ashwaju, Bola Mekinibu, and the vice president, and uh, Yahya Bello, as those who are running against him in the party primaries, who give him that leverage to even know what is happening. See, we have passed that stage as Nigerians. Okay. Nigerians are enlightened. Right. We know what is happening. Okay. If you say you wanted to work for the people of the United States, you had seven years plus of time in your hand. From the first vote in office, you would have started showing your oh, people oh, that all you right. love your state, you want to give back the dividends of democracy for them. Remembering the way you came into power by using the military might to force votes out of your people. To well, 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 that, 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 that is all for the debate. But, but, but let, let, let's bring back uh, Wenen Dawali at, at this point, somewhere, please. Uh, Wenen Dawali, are you there, please? I'm very much around. Okay. Uh, um, uh, you've heard your, your counterpart, Sawa Wano CK. Um, uh, you know, uh, give his own view on the performance of the, the Honorable Minister as uh, in charge of the Coffee, Ministry of Transportation. Coffee, 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 there's something I've always said that um, the moment we're able to rise above the level of screaming or shouting at ourselves and holding civilized conversations, that it's going to be possible for us to hear what the other person is saying. You know, so what I'm saying is that there is this culture of throwing mock 
you know, here in the hope that one would just stick. Not because there are facts. If you remember, I said from the very beginning that I want to deal with the process of getting APC members to nominate to, to, to nominate Rochimi Amici as our candidate. The one who get to that part of the election proper, then Nigerians will know if it's River State, Rochimi was appointed Minister of Transportation in charge of River State. Of, and I think to the extent of the brief and the mandate that was given to him by the federal government of Nigeria at the behest of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Rotimi Amechi has been able to distinguish himself. And it is not too wrong. If, if I said that the, the impression most people have across the land is that he is the star boy of his administration, we are not running. And when that time comes, we're going to be able to tell Nigerians what he did as governor of River State and what he did as a minister. Nigerians will then be able to put things together and decide who best serves the interests of this country. Is it those who are screaming around the whole place or those who are able to like show what they have been able to do? Governance is a very serious business. And I can tell you that for free. Okay. Nigerians should make that judgment, and that judgment will be informed by what they know and what they have seen on ground. You cannot deny the fact that one of the bright spots of this administration is in the area of transportation. Let me just recount something here, please. Under Rotimi Amechi, our waterways have become safer internationally to the extent that the IMO, the International Maritime Organization, has removed Nigeria from the list of the most uh, uh, terror-prone uh, um, high, uh, what do you call them, uh, seas or uh, waterways. Under Rotimi and Mechi, the, the, the Lekki Deep Seaport, the first seaport in West Africa, is being completed. Under Rotimi Seems we're having some net network issues with you. Uh, uh, when in the while we, we cannot take all the achievements, but um, uh, I'm sure we'll have an, another time. Dr. Samawan Sike, you heard him say that uh, uh, Roti Mamechi was not appointed Minister for or Translation for River State, uh, but Minister of Translation for Nigeria. I wish we had time to take your thoughts, but um, uh, Dr. Wana Sike and Well in the while it's been a thrill having both of you uh, share your thoughts on the presidential aspirations of. Uh, uh, the Minister of Transportation. We would love to have both of you back, if possible, for a longer time, maybe uh, throughout the program, so we can analyze. Uh, we'll be monitoring activities, but thank you very much for your time, gentlemen. All right. Um, we're joined by Dr. Samuel Wansik, Executive Chairman of uh, the Equerry Local Government Area and River State, and of course, uh, Wenenda Wali. He is uh, the convener of Unity House Foundation and also a chieftain of the APC in River State. Samuel is a chieftain of the PDP in River State. Uh, thanks for staying with us. We'll take a short break. And when we return, Professor Yemi Oshibajo has joined the presidential race. We'll be right back. <laughs>